This year, the Salvation Army will have 900 fewer children on the angel tree. The nonprofit put stricter guidelines on the program, and that's affecting the number of families applying. 10 News reporter Allison Wickline is working for you to find out more on the effort to stop generational poverty. The Salvation Army Angel Tree program gives thousands of kids a better Christmas every year. But here in the Roanoke Valley, this year is a little different. About 900 fewer kids are being served. Captain Monica Seiler is crediting the decline to stricter requirements for the program. We expect to see less people, we expect to see less families, and we're okay with that because we'll be able to work with those families and be more invested in them with the resources we have long term. This year, Angel Tree recipients cannot double dip from other giveaway programs. There is also a three year limit for families and a required financial and family management course. The Salvation Army wants to be able to see those who are interested in changing their situation because we believe in hope and we believe that the cycle of poverty can be changed and it doesn't need to be a multi generational thing. Seiler says the stricter rules are not about discouraging parents from asking for help. The goal is to actually encourage families to find the path to a more financially stable future with the nonprofit's help. The goal is that in the future, those who are on the angel tree will be able to become donors and walk with those who are struggling during their time of need. For now, the new regulations are expected to be in place for many Christmases to come. In Roanoke, Allison Wickline, 10 News, working for you.